All right, Dero, let's talk about another slugger, a former Marlin, Giancarlo Stanton, career home run number 400. I was blown away when I heard fourth fastest because fourth fastest. because his career has been you know some start and stop he's battled injuries but man when he's right he's one of the elite sluggers in the game yeah I mean you can argue he should be close to 500 if he yeah. stays healthy but we can't I don't want to focus on that I want to love on the fact that he's the fourth fastest to 400 yep. and he's done it a myriad of ways with a myriad of stances Let's get into it. I want to see his first home run. Who was that off of? I don't know. Matt Garza back in 2010. Oh, wow. Look at him standing wide open right there in the old Joe Robbie. What's it, a hard rock now? <laughs> Getting to watch Tui Tugavailoa throw to Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle. How about his 100th career homer right here? June 17th against Heath Bell. Let's get it done going oppo. Mm. It's crazy, Mikey, and you can jump in here with me and we'll go down the line 200th homer in City Field. Just light tower power. He's been able to do things a little bit differently than everybody. 2017 culminated with a perfect season for him. 59 homers, 132 RBIs, won an MVP. I think him getting drilled in the face in Milwaukee kind of made him change his stance up a little bit yeah. as a guy who was wide open and liked to dive a little bit as opposed to what he is now. He's kind of closed and then steps in the bucket. But when he's right, He's a force and can do things differently. We talked about this last night with Jimmy Rollins and Pedro Martinez. There's very few guys in a lineup that can put their team on a back back for months at a time. Yeah. You know, certain guys could do it for two or three days a week. This is a guy who could do it for months at a time. And he's had big postseason moments. So what an interesting dynamic in Yankee Stadium. He has been booed mercilessly yeah. all year and then gets a curtain call for his 400th. If I would say anything to John Carlo, watching him, putting eyeballs on him, and he doesn't have to listen to me, but I would say take the governor off. Be willing to get hurt. I feel like he tries to protect his lower half. Mm. People look at it as maybe he's playing a little bit lazy. I look at it as maybe he's playing a little bit scared to not be available for the boys. Right. And I would say I'd rather have you go full throttle and tweak a hamstring yeah. than to kind of play with this governor on. Because when you're right with Aaron Judge, man, we still haven't fully gotten that experience. Yeah. But yeah. hats off to him. What a monumental achievement. I mean, gr night. great achievement. I, I guess what I would say is, and I saw the play that everyone talked about when he got thrown out at home plate. Mm -hmm. It looked like he wasn't yeah. hustling. For me, if Aaron Boone saw that and knew he wasn't hustling, I think he would have pulled him. I yeah. think there's an agreement. Yep. So I say, do I want him at his best running, which is not his strength, or his best at the plate? So True. it's kind of hard. Like, I, I, I need his bat because he is that type of guy, D-Row. I mean, you, when he gets hot, it's, it's like nine home runs over a 12-day span. You know, it's not like yeah. it, it's, it's a hot month. It's just quick. And he's a very streaky guy. But what, what I think sets him apart, Roflo, it's the line drive home runs. Like, some guys hit the ball to the moon. Like, yeah. he hits a line drive. It looks like it's 10 feet over the shortstop and it's 15 rows in the left center. That's what's so, <laughs> impre that's what's so impressive to me about him. Yeah, the one he power. hit in Marlins Park to dead right field, it was like click and it went boom. He just does things no one else can yep. do from an offensive standpoint. Yeah, and as you mentioned, some huge postseason homers. So congratulations to Giancarlo Stanton. Career home run number 400.